Sarajevo or I hope I'm pronouncing this right Grbavica in Bosnia after the Civil War many women are left behind without a husband to help support them Esma is working two jobs to provide for herself and her 12-year-old daughter, Sarah. Sarah is a little bit of a brat, but you can tell that her heart is in the right place. She's also a bit of a tomboy, and she sometimes gets in trouble. They both have a bit of a love interest each in the film and this is basically about the post-Civil War situation, the living situation. This is an independent film and it was actually made in Bosnia, I think. It's gotten several awards, and it very much deserves them. The acting is absolutely incredible. There isn't a single person, there isn't a single situation where it is even a little bit off. And a very important aspect of this is that it does not take sides. It doesn't say that either side in the Civil War were good or bad, or, you know, correct or incorrect. This is an incredibly important way to It's, it's an incredibly important aspect of any movie that is about a conflict. Because the moment you do take sides, it's going to have some bias. And simply put, the truth isn't going to come out fully when there is bias. Once again, this is produced down there, so I believe it's a woman who directed it. She had plenty of reason to take sides, and it would have been easy to do, but they didn't, and this is consistent throughout the movie. There is no real judgment imposed on either side. It's just about the people. And everyone in this is a human being. Every single character is credible. You know, the moment I even say the word brat in a movie, you know, we get thinking the American movies where there are brats and they're really over the top or excessively cruel or, you know, there, there's none of that here. You know, you could... Not everything Sarah does is entirely admirable, but she is just, you know, a 12-year-old girl, a tomboy, and, you know, not the most self-disciplined individual in the world, but she isn't bad, and there really isn't anyone in this that is just bad. One could almost argue that there isn't even an antagonist, but there is kind of a character that somewhat falls into that category.
almost everything that is set up is also followed up on. There's payoff to nearly everything in this. And as a drama, it is unbelievably gripping and horrifying. It doesn't particularly hold back. It isn't gratuitous. And most of the bad things are told to us. We're not shown, but people reminisce something they've experienced or talk about their current situation. I would say that no one who isn't at least a teenager should watch this. There are a lot of songs from maybe just the region. I don't know if they're nationally known there. I suck at geography. I don't know where it is in relation to Denmark. There might be like one of them that's sung twice, but other than that, every time you hear a song in this, it's a different one. There's ones where they're singing two at the same time, two different groups of people. I think most of them are love songs. One or two might be like national anthems or something like that. And that does bring me to a very important aspect. Yes, this movie is foreign, as in the language spoken is not something we understand in the West. They, I don't know, Bosnian, I guess, is what they're speaking, and you do need subtitles for this. But it is very much worth it. I can't really talk about the quality of subtitles on most of the DVDs. I only have one with Danish subtitles, but those are excellent. Even the songs get subtitles. And this is one of the movies where it really matters. There is a lot you will not understand if you don't have subtitles in your own language. Or a language you understand. There, there are a lot of details, there are a lot of these recollections that I mentioned before you will not understand. You, you won't actually be able to completely follow the movie, I would say. Only the Not even the gist of it, actually, to be perfectly honest. You will not understand this movie if you don't understand what is said. There is also some important backstory. I'm going to be putting it down in the underbar, and it contains spoilers. So, don't read past the point where I say spoilers below. It is a translation of what the back of the cover says in Danish. I didn't read it before watching it, and I'm really glad that I didn't, because it practically gives away the, I suppose you could say twist, but it's really not... The movie doesn't stand or fall on this twist, and it isn't like they wrote themselves into a corner and just thought of something weird. No, the reveal is very important. This is filmed and edited well. It's a bit simple. There, there aren't a lot of very different angles. It really focuses on the content. The style does not really attract any attention to itself. It's not really about that. Excuse me. That might be more or less it for the movie. One thing 
the cover has a tank on it. There's no tank in this movie. This isn't a war film. It's a post-war film. It's not about fights. It's about the aftermath. It is not really an intense film, but there are portions of tension. But what it mostly is, I would say, is a credible account of two people's struggle to survive post-war. So, if you have any chance to, please watch this movie. It's incredibly important. It's fantastically made. The writing and the acting is spot on. Just make sure that you get a version with subtitles unless you speak the language. So that was my spoiler free review of Sarajevo or Krpavika. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.